how to export your footage. Let's get into our primary export settings. The first thing that you're going to want to do is select the export tab at the top of your window. Now that we have this selected, we're going to go ahead and figure out some of these settings here. Go ahead and figure out your file name and ensure that you're exporting to the proper location. Next, make sure that you've selected the H.264 format, that you're exporting in your frame size of 1080 by 1920. As we mentioned before, Instagram Reels does not support 4K video, so you always have to export in the frame size 1080 by 1920. Export in either your native or preferred frame rate, be that 60, 30, 24, so on and so forth. Go ahead and export according to your desired frame rate. For our purposes, we're going to leave this locked at 60 FPS. Next, we're going to ensure that you have both render at maximum depth and use maximum render quality selected. Now we're going to drag our way down to bitrate settings and we're going to enable VBR to pass. This is basically going to render your video two times and ensure that there's no graphics or and ensure that there won't be any artifacting or visual glitches in the export. We also have target bitrate and maximum bitrate, which you could adjust depending on your situation. If you're exporting 4K footage at about 1080p, you could drag this down to decrease file size, but we like exporting our footage at a higher bitrate to basically guarantee that there is no visual artifacting or glitches glitches throughout the export. Now let's head over to audio because we went through the process of ensuring that our audio had a nice pass and sounds adequate. We're also going to increase the bitrate settings from 320 to 512. Now, of course, because we went through the laboring process of creating specifically styled captions for this video, we want them to be enabled. So make sure they are. Go ahead and select enable for your captions and then select burn captions into video. If you don't do this, you'll find that your video Video exported without any captions. So always remember this one simple step. And from there, you could export natively from the Premiere Pro application, or you could send it to Adobe's Media Encoder. We opt into sending it to Media Encoder because it's just one separate application, and then we're able to continue editing on Premiere Pro without any interruptions. And that concludes VMASU Productions' How to 10x Your Reels Editing in Premiere Pro Video Companion. I hope you all enjoyed and that this was insightful. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out and DM us personally or contact us to book a coaching call online today.